And there are other streaming platforms, by the way, including NVIDIA's GeForce Now, which this system lets you utilize a GeForce GTX gaming PC in the cloud. Very Stadia-like, of course, coming from NVIDIA, who a lot of expertise in this space. Now, we have an update that that service is going to work natively on the new Apple Silicon-powered M1-equipped MacBooks, and I guess the Mac Mini as well. And the reason that this is noteworthy is because those systems and Macs in general not really regarded as the best choices for gamers. Hmm. But that's just because natively not a lot of stuff is available. And it, well, it just hasn't been an emphasis really. But once things are in the cloud, once you're on a GTX in the cloud, will they add RTX at some point? I guess. Mm-hmm. But once you're on a GPU that's in the cloud provided by NVIDIA and you have a low latency, if you have a fat, fast enough connection, then the system becomes less important and it kind of bridges that gap where maybe even maybe even a gamer could cross over. And I, I know most won't. Most are going to want a PC, a gaming laptop that can do it without any cloud connection necessary mm-hmm. if you're a hardcore gamer. But even the casual gamer goes, you know, when that triple a title comes out i want to play it make sure there's a way to play it however i really want this m1 mac well now here's an avenue in order to do that yeah granted it doesn't even have to be an m1 mac it's just like i mean obviously it's nice but you just need a web browser right you need a chrome browser yeah and a controller that's pretty much it that's pretty much it so it's not surprising that it works on these devices it will work it's not utilizing the internal components to any degree outside of the display and the internet connection. I guess you would you you could use mouse and keyboard, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Or controller. Yeah. Yeah, up to you. You do need a like I said, a pretty demanding uh connection. Although over here they say twenty five megabit per second download. That's not very good. I think most people can can figure that one out and a minimum of a five gigahertz wireless router oh nvidia recommends at least 50 megabit connection or higher for other potential internet traffic yeah if you're in a, if you're a regular person with multiple connections in the household i mean you're gonna need better than 50 megabit in my opinion to have a good experience here but anyway that's what they recommend it uh, you can also of course play on iphone or ipad if you're an apple user but you can play it anywhere like i said you just need a screen the service is priced at $25 for a six-month Founders membership subscription. And the $4.99 monthly memberships are currently sold out. So I don't know. I think this game streaming thing is eventually going to be a thing. I'm just curious to see who ends up dominating and which service ends up winning out. 